guys, Matt here. Welcome to <laughs> welcome to this brand new video. Hope you're all doing very, very well today. I'm in my new house. Really happy to be back, guys. So let's get straight into this fragrance video. Here we go. The fragrance in today's video is going to be Yoke Thrill. Now, this was released in 2009, and not a lot of people talk about it because of the fact that it's heavily discontinued and. For a fragrance to be released in 2009, there isn't actually a lot of these fragrances available in the world now. It seems to have pretty much gone extinct. But if you can find a bottle of this, uh, I would definitely snag it in your collection. But let's get around to how this fragrance smells. Let's get into the way the bottle looks. And overall, my impressions and my experiences with this. Bit of a discontinued gem, in my opinion humble opinion if I'm honest with you but uh, before we get into this designer release let's take a look at the way the bottle looks here we go so the bottle design is well there's not really a lot to say about it it is a very simple design I wouldn't exactly call it slick I would probably say that this was just a very standard looking bottle it is very heavy glass it's red we get a silver cap which is I think this is actually made of metal. Nice atomizer in all fairness. But we get the Yoke logo, we get Thrill, and we get Man on the bottom there. And this fragrance was manufactured uh, with the help of Cody. So Cody, I believe still to this day, help out with a lot of Yoke's fragrances when they're being made. So, And I mean Cody are one of the main distributors, so yeah. Not a lot to say about the bottle design, it's just really simple. Let's get straight into the smell. So the main accords for Yolk Thrill Man are woody, vanilla, fruity, powdery, and amber as well. There is a lot though, there's a lot going on in this fragrance. I think one of the things that I like about it is the fact, I mean, I've had this fragrance for years. Although, I recently found it in my loft, or for you guys in America, I found it in my attic of my parents' house in a black bin liner. And I've been looking for it for years and I was able to find it. So, let's get straight into the smell. From first impressions, it comes across very synthetic. There's no doubt about it. It comes across very synthetic. Uh, opens with an apple, which in all fairness, even though the synthetic is probably the syntheticness of the fragrance is probably coming from this apple note, it's still very pleasant. It's a very sweet Granny Smith apple. Almost has a bit of a red apple vibe going on, because it's almost a sugary, sweet kind of apple smell. There's also a bit of warmth underneath. And there's a really nice lavender in this note, in this fragrance as well, which contrasts lovely with uh, the rest of the other notes in the scent. But for the star players in the opening, without a doubt, are the apple, the lavender, and there is even notes descriptive as woodsy notes on Fragranica. But to me, it's a combination, really, of several notes put together. I would say it's, it's probably more likely a sandalwood, because to me, there's a real dusty quality to the scent. Almost like a pencil shaving quality underneath there. And I know you can get that from other wood notes, but it's leaning towards more of a sandal wood. And you know, usually fragrances like to open with some citruses. There is a slight citrus going on in the fragrance with a bit of a bergamot. But it's not strong like the other notes, without a doubt. It's still very pleasant though. Really, really pleasant. And as the fragrance is really starting to sit down on my skin, I'm definitely starting to get a very subtle vanilla. Um, a amber quality to the scent as well. And just a lovely woody, sort of sensual, playful, sexy smell in all fairness. Um, so if I really had to mention the highlights of this fragrance, I would say it has a really nice playful apple note in the beginning which starts to dry down and turn more into a woody, vanilla kind of scent. 
Although the vanilla in this, it isn't bold, it doesn't stick out and surround you in a cloud of well, usually what a good vanilla note will do that. But in this, it's very subtle, it sits close to the skin and just reminds you that the vanilla is there. I really like this scent in all fairness. However, for a yolk fragrance, it doesn't really have the longevity there. It doesn't really pack a punch. I would say this lasts probably for about five to six hours, which in all fairness, for an eau de toilette is good. But then you look at the original 1989 fragrance, Your Pomme, and you'll notice that that is also an eau de toilette concentrated fragrance, which lasts all day. So yeah, I think the difference between the blending in Your Pomme and this is massive. Your Pomme is a powerhouse. This is much more of a casual, uh, very casual in fact, but it does have its playful side to it. It does have a sexy side to it. Uh, yeah, just a very nice apple, vanilla, ambery kind of scent in all fairness. Now that I've talked about the smell, I really want to talk about what this fragrance reminds me of. Now a couple of years ago I received a sample from my good friend Matt and he was very kind enough to send me a sample of Escada Magnetism for Men, uh, which of course I don't have anymore, I used it all up. But I did a review on it many, many years ago, and I really miss that scent, really, really miss it. I miss the way it smells and everything to do with it. However, this kind of reminds me of it a little bit. I think Magnetism is an older fragrance, it goes back further than 2009, but Yope Thrill does smell quite similar to Escada Magnetism for Men, even though that is a discontinued fragrance as well. With this being discontinued as well, it, it does take away the chances for you guys to really compare it. But if you can find a bottle of this and you're a fan of Escada Magnetism for Men, I think you'll see a strong similarity. At least I do. This almost smells like an Escada Magnetism uh, au fraiche without really saying au fresh in terms of an aquatic. This just smells like a more toned down version of that, whereas Magnetism for Men is a very thick fragrance. This is more toned down. This goes on very subtle, very sits very nice and close to the skin. But I will say, guys, when you wear this, you'll, it's, it's very enjoyable. The smell of it is just lovely. It, it just, it has a smell that you don't really smell nowadays in a lot of other fragrances. So, yeah, that is basically my review for Yolk Thrill. I would give this scent a very high grade. Um, I'm probably going to give this, in designer terms, um, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I think the smell is outstanding. I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. But I really do feel like people, that's you guys, should get out there and try and find a bottle of this. Even if you can find a sample for it, please Smell it, see what you think. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching this video. It means a lot. Keep smelling good. And bye for now.